Hello YouTube, this is Sonic TKK here, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover getting user input as a string and as a number. So, to get user input in Python from the command line, you need to use a thing called raw input and input. So, what you would do is you say x equals raw input, and you don't need these spaces, but like I said, I just prefer it. Makes my Python code look better, in my opinion. And then we say, enter your age. And then here we can change this variable to age. And there will be a little prompt for the user to enter whatever they want. They can enter a text or they can enter a number. But even if they enter a number, oh, there's a lot of rules. Uh, even if they enter a number, uh, Python reads it as a string because with raw input everything is read as a string everything is saved as a string whenever you enter your uh, text and hit enter the prompt goes away it stops running that code whenever you press enter and then raw input is a function built into Python that will return whatever you enter here it returns whatever value you enter and whenever something is returned it's stored in a variable if there's a variable declaration and it's stored as a function whatever the function returns will be stored as uh, the variable name so if we enter 10 here then the value of age will be 10 and just to show you we'll print age So, oh, you can't run it from Sublime Text. You can't run uh, input from Sublime Text because I don't know why. But you have to use the Python environment on your computer. So we need to go to where our file is saved. I showed you how to do this in the first tutorial. Programming Python YouTube tutorial series. Oh, no. Where am I? Did I not? Oh. I didn't see the. There we go. There we go. Uh, main.py. We want to say Python main.py. And your age 10. And it prints 10. And uh, this is a string, even though we entered a number. Since we're using raw input, it is string. But if we say input. Oh, again, we can't run it from here. I keep forgetting. Enter your age, 10. It's a number. Even though there's no difference, it is a number. But the difference between input and raw input is that input only accepts numbers. It will accept numbers with decimal points, which is known as a float. It will accept really long numbers, which is known as a long. Or it will just accept normal integers, which is known as an integer of course um, but it won't accept text if we try to enter text it says name aim is not defined and that just gives an error because of the way that was written it doesn't accept strings it only accepts numbers now to show you that I'm telling the truth there's a handy dandy little function built into Python called type and whenever you pass in a variable or a number or a piece of text into that um, function it will return the type it is whether it's a number a float or a long so if we say print the type of age then of course we have to go here oh no we need to change directory of course and then we say 10 it is a string because we're using raw input but if we change this to input oh again we can't run it from here I keep forgetting because I'm silly uh, we say 10 it's an integer if we say 10.1 it's a float if we put in no no not text not text not text numbers it's a long see that that's the type of variable it is now if we say raw input Keep forgetting we can't run it from here. I keep trying to build it. Force of habit. Sorry. You hear me say 10.1 is still string. 
And if we say this, you guessed it, still a string. But we have some other handy dandy functions that can turn one type of variable into another type. So say we needed for some reason age to be uh, an integer. So here print type of age, it should be a string since so the reason raw input, but we can say age equals int age, and then print type age. It can't convert floats into that, so say enter your age 10, it's a string, but then here we say age is equal to int age. Now what the int function does is it accepts one argument of a variable and it will turn that variable or value into another type of value. So here it will turn our string age into the integer age. So once we do this, age becomes an integer. Now, if you can't do this with text, you can't have aiming and try and convert that to an integer, you'll get an error. You can't turn a float string into an integer, it just Python doesn't work that way, but you can turn it into an integer and then you can turn it into a float if you wanted. Or you can just cast it straight to a float. So if we did this, and then we said 10.1, it'll turn it into a float because we had 10.1. You could create a long, Long is a, a data type type of thing. Stir and long. Now, longs and the difference between longs and integers is that it's a really long uh, number line, and that means it takes up more space in memory. Now, after your Python code finishes running, all that space from memory is cleared. But if you're making something like a game, all that memory is going to keep being used. Um. So if all that memory is still being used, then you know your program might crash if it uses too much. Now that's not very likely to happen, but just in case you type you can type uh, Dell age, D E L age, and if we say print age, then with two C it says age is not defined because we're deleting the variable age from memory which means that age no longer exists. And that's how you can clear stuff out of your RAM in case you need to free up some of that memory. That's one thing that isn't very useful unless you're doing a lot of low-level things in Python and it's not used very much in game development um, because it doesn't tend to work properly. But, you know, it's... It's something in Python that's there if you want to use it. It would be good for deleting junk variables, maybe temporary variables, so that they're not taking up space in memory. So uh, yeah, that's all for this tutorial, just to recap. You can get input with raw input, but that turns everything into uh, a string. If you use input, it turns everything into an integer, and it only accepts numbers because it turns everything into an integer. And if you turn, if you enter text, then it, it can't convert it to an integer because it just can't. That's just that's just the way it works. Um, here we type, we print the type of age, which is a function that accepts a value and it returns the type of that value: long, int, and string, and float. And there's probably some other ones as well. Turn a value into something else. A long turns a uh, a variable into a long data type. Uh, a string, str, turns something into a string data type, int turns something into an integer data type, and float turns something into a float data type. And then here we say type age, and then there's also delete, which will delete something from memory. So thanks for watching this tutorial, hopefully you learned something, please subscribe if you did learn something, and don't forget to leave a like in this video to help other people find it and to help other people. Share it with your friends if you think that you, some of your friends would benefit from this. But uh, thank you for watching. My name is Sonic2KK and I will see you in the next tutorial.